Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jerry Beanie. I'm the Business Development Manager for FLIR's R&D and Science Camera Systems. Uh, today we're at Photonics West uh, 2019 here in San Francisco. And I'd like to actually take the opportunity to introduce you to one of the more unique infrared cameras that we have within the FLIR R&D and Science segment. We have here is our A6200 camera system. It's uh, based on an indium gallium arsenide detector. The format, uh, image format is a 640 by 512 has a spectral response of uh, 900 to 1700 nanometers and has the ability to run uh, frame rates up to 180 frames per second. The camera can also be sub-windowed down as small as a 32 by 2 window size and run about 17,000 frames a second. The camera connects to a PC running our research IR software over a simple gigabit ethernet connection. This gigabit ethernet connection is uh, GigiVision and GennyCam compliant. So whether you want to run it within our research IR software or out to some other GigiVision uh, third party softwares, you can do that as well. It also has the ability to uh, output an, an analog video as well as trigger and sync the camera to external devices. This camera is actually a really great um, in-gas detector, has some unique features, so you can do this the same type of applications you would do with any type of SWIR camera, whether that would basically be uh, laser beam profiling or if you wanted to do any type of unique imaging um, through layers of paint or like uh, you know markers or something along that, that nature. You can also use it in industrial applications where you want to uh, do wafer inspections, uh, maybe solar cell inspections with uh, electroluminescence testing as well. But one of the really cool things about this camera is it has really good linearity, and it, which makes it great for radiometric work or temperature measurement work. So though it's working in the, the sphere infrared band, which is primarily dominated by reflected light, when you get temperatures above 100 or 200 degrees C, you're actually able to calibrate this camera for temperatures. So we can calibrate this ca camera starting at about 300 degrees C all the way up to 3000 degrees C for those unique applications where you need high temperature measurements or, or maybe looking through an, uh, an eye, uh, glass window um, for higher temperature measurements into a furnace or something along, along those natures. The other nice thing about being in the sphere band is the effects of emissivity changes are a lot less in the sphere band. So if you have a processing or high temperature process where the emissivity of your material might change over time or during that process, the effect of that emissivity change on your temperature measurement isn't going to be as great. So it's a wonderful camera not only for your standard sphere imaging applications, but for high temperature measurements as well. Thank you and have a great day.